Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Pathfinder Keymaker Enhanced Edition with me, Bring It Down. We're actually going to head back to the capital. I know, it's not very efficient, but I do want to turn in the, uh, the Hambaki Brother quest real quick. I don't want to risk running out of time, because again, last time I did fail the quests, and... Also, this happened, so I don't know what's going on with that. Fog Mischief. Oh, we have to... Alright, this we actually have to go and check on... She basically has no chance to succeed in that. He should finish it up before it expires. And he'll also finish his before it expires, so we'll be able to take care of it before it becomes an actual problem. Adventures can wait. We'd like to make it back to the capital before we rest. Alright, guaranteed encounter on the road. More strength. Thanks. Nober and some barbarians. I remember this encounter. A small but well armed group moves across the flatlands. Tattoos, leather, and fur clothing, bone amulets at their belts. These are barbarians. Kelids, to be precise, probably from neighboring Numeria or maybe lands even further north. They stop when they see you, hands on their weapons, and frowns on their faces. Hey, one of the barbarians shouts towards Amiri. You're from the north, right? Which tribe? I'm by myself. Wait, isn't that the gal the six bears kicked out? Because they were scared that if a woman touched a sword, their balls would fall off? Haha, <laughs> just let bygones be bygones. I'll walk with him now. Amiri points at you. The barbarian examines you closely. So, you lead this group then. I'm Nober. We're from Numeria, part of the Tiger Lord's tribe. We're just minding our own business here, not looking to pick a fight. We don't want any trouble, or we're not after anyone. Oh yeah, that's right, she's sick. Uh, one of your people seems to be sick. Can I help? A barbarian woman steps forward, trying to control her heavy coughing. That'd be welcome. I'm... The woman starts coughing again, then spits some blue phlegm on the ground. I caught blue spit somewhere in the barrens. I could pay for the healing in gold. Alright, yeah, no charge. No, none of that. We're not beggars, or we're not out for charity. The barbarian woman forces several coins into your hand. After you heal the woman's disease, she breathes in deeply, relishing the sensation. Wow, thank you. It was a nasty thing, let me tell you. Won't let you take breath in or let gases out. From Numeria? You're pretty far from home. Not so far. The Tiger Lords travel around a lot, from the world, world Wound to Ayabaria. Hell, these lands were once practically home to us. We used to clear them darned fey from the Nar Marches on a regular basis. Well, now we're here again. That's the nomad life, you see. Never know where you'll find yourself tomorrow. Uh, do you know anything about the situation at Varnhold? Varnhold? Never heard of it. What's going on there? We got nothing to do with it. Or whatever is going on there, we got nothing to do with it. Uh, what are you searching for? The Kellet frowns. No idea, really. Dugath just said we sh should search for caves and ancient ruins, and he'd tell us if it was what we were looking for. You ask me, we're just wasting time out here. But Chieftain knows best. Who's Dugath? An old cleric. He's seen a lot, he knows a lot. It seems like he's the only one who has any idea what the hell we're looking for out here. Are you the only group of Numerians here? You kidding? Of course not. Our main camp's over the hills there. If you're feeling gutsy, come pay us a visit. Have you found anything interesting in the area? I wish. We've been searching the area for days now. But all we found was a cave with some... grime-faced half-men. No ancient ruin, no treasures, not a darn thing. Uh, tell me about Numeria. Ugh, I hate this question. Well, Numeria is a hard land made for hard people. 
Ages ago, stars rained from the sky and left a bunch of chunks of sky metal across the land. Some as small as your finger, others as big as a mountain. Lots of the chunks just sit still and do nothing, and we mine them for adamantine. Others make monsters, or diseases, or radiation, and stuff like that. Uh, tech... Technicology. Never spits that last word, almost like a curse. Nemera is also the birthplace of countless beautiful songs and heroic legends. I mean, most of them end with someone getting beheaded, impaled, chopped to pieces, or burned alive. But still, they're marvelous. Uh, you don't like technology? Why would I? Bad enough it brings us so much trouble on its own, but it also attracts villains from all over Avastan, like flies to a steaming pile of crap. That technically alone. Ugh. Uh, tell me about your tribe. The Tiger Lords are an ancient and glorious tribe, one of the strongest in all Numeria. We used to own half the stolen lands ourselves, but that was a long time ago, back in the time of Great Armag. But now that the spirit of Armag's been reborn into the body of our new chieftain, you mark me. Word of our heroic deeds will spread across Galarian once again. Alright, well, safe travels. In due time. Again, I don't really want to rest until we get to the capital. Guaranteed eight hours and. I'm there! And stuff. There we go. Finished my sentence. With elegance. Resting would be nice, don't you think? So we're almost we're almost home. Main square we're gonna rest, then we're gonna go talk to uh Havanki, and then we're going to actually head up north to the town, because I don't know what happens if you don't address the uh, Kimo Ta Taven's uh, issue yet. I don't know if anything bad happens. He said... I do what I must! Let's see if they dropped anything off for me. Any of the, uh... Nope. Artisans. I know he's blind, but he's just there staring at a pillar. Alright, this is a... This is a new dialogue. The storyteller idly toys with the ancient, plain-looking coin. What was the name of the Kalorian ruler who issued this coin? Does anyone remember now? What did the Cyclopes use it to purchase? Food? Books? Weapons? Perhaps someone's life or their freedom? Who can say? Its history was erased by the Earthfall. But I'll buy it from you for significantly more than it, it was worth at its own time. Here we go. Blind darkness underground. Bronze blades cr clashing. The cold blood of serpent folk and the hot blood of Cyclopes mingle on a stone floor. And something else. Fear, desperation, agonizing shame. I cannot yet tell what happened there, underground, but if you collect all five pieces, I'll be able to tell you the story of their owner. Alright. Need to go talk to... Uh, did you manage to find anything? I have bad news for you. Your brother is dead. I found this letter on his body. Is that so? My poor father won't be able to cope with such a loss. What have you done, brother? 
and for what? After reading the letter, le the le the le the le the <laughs> man, I fell apart. Uh, after reading the letter, Edris sighs bitterly and shakes his head in dismay. So that's how it all started. My brother found our great grandfather's letter to the family archives, and he decided to follow his example. And most unfortunately, he did. This means I'm the heir to the title now, but this doesn't give me the tiniest trifle of joy, believe me. Well, I'll have to stay in your capital for a while. If during your travels you happen to find yourself in this ill-fated tomb, do me a favor and tell me what two Ivanki daredevils died for. Uh, tell me about your great-grandfather. Mathian Hanvanki was known for his bravery and recklessness. When our family was dealing with some financial difficulties, his best idea was to leave his family estate his wife, and his children in the care of his brother, and go off treasure hunting with a group of daredevils of the same kind, let's say. No one has seen him since. Unfortunately, stories like this aren't unusual in our family. Stories about the exploits of my great-grandfather have become legends. The bards praised his courage. Too bad no one wrote any songs about his widow and everything the poor woman had to endure. Alright, well there we go. Oh yeah, I didn't uh, investigate it, but that was the the owlbear pelt, and the tavern was the giant owlbear that we killed when during the season of bloom when our uh, capital was attacked. So do I need to? Oh no, okay, I think I have to just send it, put an advisor on that. Oh, actually, I need to talk to Jubilas as well. My bad. So maybe I don't have to go talk to Kimo. Uh, if I just put an advisor on it, maybe that'll take care of itself. That'll save me a couple days travel time because it takes a day to get up to the town and then a day to get back. I don't remember where Jubilost is at. Don Victus, I never properly thanked you for your help at the inconsequent debates. I'm happy to do so now. I hope you don't think me entirely ungrateful. Have you figured out anything about that riddle? The host answered to your question about the gnomes. Not quite, but I'm working on it. I'll certainly inform you of my findings. I must admit, such an answer is quite in the spirit of the Fey. It must lead somewhere, and I will find the trail. Remind me how that riddle went again. I'm not going to read it again. I'm surprised that you didn't want to be freed of the Zotnroffel spell. Why did you willingly suffer it? Hmm. Jubilas locks his hands behind his back. Well, you see, I understand well what the bleaching is, what a fatal effect it has on gnomes. Those poor fellows were acting like that for no darker motive than desperation. Their foolish jokes allow them to live just a little longer. Do you see? I don't mind becoming the joke myself. For a while, of course. And not if my life is be was being threatened. It lets someone live a couple days longer. So you let them continue their prank to help them. That's a worthy act. Stop or you'll make me blush. Jubilas folds his hands over his chest with a contented look. Let's talk about the inconsequent debates. We've already done that. Ah, oh, I've received the journal with your article. I thought it would be worse. Are you proud that I haven't found anything in your barony worth my attention? Hmm. Well, at least that means that there's nothing truly disastrous in your lands. So yes, perhaps you may be proud of that. Jubilast is one of my... He's... He has become one of my favorite characters. I didn't really care for him the first time I played. But after seeing how his quest and everything wraps up, he's a... Uh... He's a respectable character. Alright, well, we're gonna head back east. We have some stuff to take care of in the Dunsward area. It might be faster to go this way, but I kind of want to go down this way. Go through like Ironstone Gully. I don't know. 
if it connects all the way up there or not. If it doesn't, then we're going to waste a lot of time going down here. So maybe when we come back, we'll come back in that direction. And for now, we'll head this way. And we'll shoot up this way. can wait. Overgrown cavern. And now something popped up in the kingdom. I wish we could at least look and see what was going on in the kingdom. Even if we can't um, deal with it yet. Because we're being notified something happened. We should be able to see what's happening since... Our strength. Why don't Thanks. we set up camp? Alright. Hey, who's that walking over there? A barbarian standing guard at the cave entrance calls to you coarsely. It's dangerous to walk around here. Better turn back. Mary answers something in Halit, the native tongue of the Numerian Kelid tribes. After a brief exchange in Halit, in Halit with Amiri, the guard switches back to common. Peace. If you want to speak with our elders or spend the night, you may enter. Just don't expect a free dinner. I'm there. Okay, well, let's go chit chat. And also take all of your stuff. Applause, please. In due time. Cheese crostata. That's one of the companion's favorite food. I don't remember which companion it is. Which companion it is, though. All right, let's talk to Bolga. Bolga the Barbarian. A half orc woman sits by the fire. Her clothes are made of leather and fur, matching the rest of the barbarians. She frowns as she slides her finger along a map, crudely drawn on a crumpled sheet of paper. She lifts her gaze as she notices you. Huh, guests. Who are you? If you're a friend, take a seat by the fire and let's talk. I'm Bolga from the Tiger Lord's tribe. I lead this group. Uh, are you a chieftain? Me? No, no. Just seasoned enough to lead a group. Our chieftain is Armag the Twiceborn. Bolga says the name proudly, as though expecting recognition or awe. He's back home in Numeria right now. Uh, what's your chieftain known for? Long ago, he was the greatest of the Numerian chieftains, and Gorm's chosen. Armag was so strong, no mortal could strike him down. It was only when Phrasma herself challenged him to battle that he fell, and only because her, of her divine power. But now, Armag shamed her and came back from the afterlife. Great Armag leads the Tiger Lords once more, now as Armag the Twiceborn, and soon, word of our exploits will spread all over Avistan. I didn't know there were half-orcs among the Numerian barbarians. Sorry if you didn't understand what I was saying. I was... I slurred all those words together. Uh, the Barbarian Shrugs. The orcs have lands nearby. A lot can happen between two neighboring peoples. Uh, what are you doing here? We're looking for some ruins, or a cave, or something. I don't really know. Only Dugoth knows exactly what we're looking for. He's a cleric, and he's our leader on this expedition. Well, him and the sisters. Who are these sisters? They're witches who serve Armag. Uh, they seem to know a lot about the world. History, gods, even other worlds. They're pretty smart talkers. You hardly believe the things they know. They have these strange, unimaginable spells. When Armag ordered us to pack up for this expedition, we thought we'd be marching for a month. But they just waved their hands, whoosh. A tunny, a, a tunny. A tunnel of multicolored lights opened before us. The trip here took us just one hour. Can you imagine it? I wouldn't be surprised if you can't. Where might I find Dugoth and these sisters? They're in our main camp here. Bolga points at a, a, at a cross on her map. If you're looking to hire us or have some other business, come visit. It'd be much better than digging around in the dirt out here. Have you found anything of interest? It'd be nice if we had. So far it's just dirt, crap, and monsters. 
like we don't get enough of that back in Numeria. We found this hole and the monsters that were living here. We took a beating doing it, but we managed to kick them out. Then, after we searched the place, we found out it's just a regular cave, nothing of note. After a day or so, we'll probably head out and keep searching. Uh, do you know anything about the situation at Varnhold? Varnhold? Where's that? The Baron looks down at our map and finds a rough sketch of the area. Hmm, no. No idea. We've never been there. Uh, tell me about Numeria. Numeria is the land with adamantine in its soil, and its people have adamantine in their hearts. The barbarian starts solemnly, then her tone shifts. And since we have a bugger all beyond adamantine and courage, we just trade the- we just- we just trade what we've got. She laughs. Alright, the Spriggans who lived in this cave are under my protection. Please leave so they can return to their home. The barbarian's jaw drops in surprise. What? what? Those ugly things? Are you crazy? I'm quite sane. Please try to understand. When you asked the Spriggans, you created a serious political issue that I need to resolve. The Barbarian shrugs. Well, sounds odd, but alright. We weren't planning on staying long anyway. Pack up everyone, we're leaving. Follow if you dare. Do I need to wait for them to leave for the uh, guy to come in here? Or do I need to exit and come back in? Adventures can wait. I'm there. Oh, there he is. Armed with a broken handled knife, a guy is busy whittling a stake from a large stick. You see a pile of such. You see a pile of such stakes nearby, along with a coil of coil of rough rope and some chunks of wood. The Spriggan barely notices you. He's so consumed in his work. I promise to help you recover your home, and I've done just that. A guy glances at you briefly, then returns to his wor work on the stake. I. Well, you could at least thank me. A guy stops whittling for a moment, staring somewhere beyond you. He finally grunts in a low voice. Thanks. Uh, did the barbarians do much damage to your home? A guy sniffs. Not too much, he draws. Stole some traps, scattered the beds, threw away all our food, the dolts. But they left some useful things behind too, so I won't hold a grudge. And it's all mine now, so don't even think about taking anything. Uh, what are you doing? I'm obviously whittling stakes to make traps. Set some by the stream, so now I'll set some by the stream, so now I need more. Not many of us left. Can't watch everyone's backs. When I'm done here, I'll check on the others in the pitfalls they're digging. A guy throws you a sideways look or glance. Not telling you where the pitfalls will be, so be careful walking around here. Or better yet, don't walk around here at all. These Spriggans are a secretive people. Would you be willing to tell me about yourself and your kin? The guy stops working and looks at you intently. Why should I do that? You trying to get close to us? Want to learn our weaknesses? Relax, it's just curiosity. I've already helped you after all. The Spriggan ponders for several moments. Fine, ask, but I won't tell you where my provisions are. Uh, do you have any legends or stories about your creation? Where's the sense in that? Why spend time wagging tongues when we could spend time hunting? What a disappointment. No songs either? Songs? Who needs these? If you make noise, you're easy to find. And if you're easy to find, then you don't sing anymore, because you're dead. Okay. Uh, you're, related, you're related to gnomes, right? A guy's voice lowers to a contemptuous hissing. Those clowns? Yes, we're unfortunate enough to share common blood. And that's all we share. Uh, you and gnomes don't look much alike. Why is that? A guy scratches his head. Is that bad? Gnomes are noisy, restless, and weak. Gotta keep a distance from them to survive. Being more like them could, would be worse. It seems like your whole life is merely fighting for survival. 
so you're starting to get it. Some people think the world's full of song and dance. In reality, all that stands between you and death is your ability to take care of yourself. We don't waste time on frivolous nonsense. Uh, how do you get along with other races? The further we are from them, the better. They don't bother us, we don't bother them. Been like that for many years, and it works just fine. Uh, how are you doing after everything that happened? Been through worse. Alright, well I'm out. <laughs> They're very straightforward people. I respect that. I think, aren't they a type of evil? They like their racial alignment is some sort of evil? I don't actually know. I'm not familiar with the, uh, the Spriggans. <laughs> Adventures can wait. How do I get to the Rotten Cave? I think I have to go around this way. I think that's where I'm going to head to next. I don't like not being able to check on my kingdom. How come your goddess made you her servant, but didn't explain what she wanted you to do? How come you persist in trying my patience with such questions? One shouldn't put one's fingers into a mouse trap just to learn how their bones crack. Alright, we'll at least begin exploring the Rotten Cave. I don't know if we'll finish it this episode or not. the ink dry I do what I must well, there's one entrance well, we'll go all the way up all the way up before we go inside and Lindsay was called forth It's a map like this that has a bunch of gargoyles on it, though it might be to the... I think it's to the west. Or like the western edge of the map. I'm off. Alright, there's another entrance. I don't know if they both lead to the same area. Let's assume that they do. In due time. That's right. Okay. Adventures call to them. I'm outside. Bam, bam. No. I'm there. I wish I wasn't constantly getting struck by lightning. It's not doing a lot of damage, but enough to be annoying. Thundervine. Follow if you dare. I'm always ready. Tear them apart! One for Gollum! They go down! Oh wow. Is that poison damage? Regardless, I didn't like it. So let's, uh, oh, can't hold him with that.
Yes, low. What a waste. Haha. The wrong thing. Did he not drop anything? So disappointing. I do what I Menace Storm and Grace of Armor plus five. Plus Thundering Light Hammer grants the wielder Sonic Resistance 10. Okay. Go check over here real quick. I don't see anything. I'm just gonna say it's good. I like how my cape, cape is constantly, or my cloak is constantly getting uh, stuck inside of my character. So this is the one that takes us elsewhere. Just make sure. Yeah, so this is the one I think that takes us to another cave system uh, across the map. Alright, if I group up, yes. I'm gonna let this episode uh, run a little longer. I wrote it like I saw it. Patience. Applause, please. How curious. Pause, please. Well, song Request. was lost in thought. Grotus awaits us. Right, nothing to it. Black fur cloak. What does that do? The unknown creature's fur on this cloak is warm and dark like a starless night. This cloak grants its wearer plus ten competence bonus to all stealth checks and cold resistance thirty. Well, if I was I worried about cold. That'd be a really good uh cloak to have. You should take a look. What a surprise! Everybody, freaking hold. There we go. It's weird that it didn't stop the, uh... So again, normally when you click on a trap to disarm it, it stops the whole party. Except for the person going to disarm the trap. Applause, please. It didn't do that there. Oh, so these two fights are pretty difficult, all things considered. So this should take us to the northern cave system. I don't remember what it's called. Yeah, Crooked Teeth. There we go. And I don't think there's anything around. We'll explore it real quick. Then we're actually going to go back through and go back to the other cave. Because we missed a, uh, a cave at the Rotten Cave. I'm saying cave a lot. In due time. So let's hop out real quick. This is just going to be... Show us where we're at on the map. 
and it's basically just a fast travel option. Uh, since it's going through the mountains, so if, you know, say you're all the way down here, and you get up here. It's faster to go through the, uh, the zone than it is to, you know, walk that distance. Nope, not that way. This way, please. Clear out the map, and then we're gonna run back and... I'm yeah. There. should move this is I don't have a mug and tell you guys uh, Lander Labita one of the advisors you can choose in the beginning uh, him Casil or the Sertova woman uh, Lander betrays you just so you guys know and it's actually kind of soon where he would normally betray you I believe Casil is loyal all the way throughout the game And I think the Sertova lady will abandon you at some point, uh, depending on your choices. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't want to leave this area half explored, so we're gonna... Go ahead and finish that up, no matter how long it takes us. Lindsay almost has as much health as I have. That's the only downside of my build is this again if someone if an enemy rolls a natural twenty, especially like the the Cyclops we'll be fighting soon. Uh, they well, almost one shot me. That's why stone skin is so good. Where's it at? All the way down here. My skills are absolute. Oh, she's still raging. I didn't realize she was even raging. <laughs> there we go, nothing to it. Is there really no loot in here? Oh, that's super disappointing. I do what I must. All right. Well, thanks. I guess I'll call the episode here. Uh, next episode, we'll continue exploring the Dunsward area. We'll probably start heading towards the barbarian camp that's been revealed to us twice. It's to the east a little ways. I am really curious what's going on in my kingdom. I think it's one of the companion quests that popped up. Yeah, so there's the barbarian camp. That's where we'll head next time. Probably straight away. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode.